Uh, my name's Tom Walton, I'm head chef at the Bucket List restaurant in Bondi Beach, Sydney. So this is the kitchen. This is, um, this is Tristan, one of my sous chefs, cutting up some beautiful um, New Zealand pink snapper. The big deep fry section, again, on the beach, fish and chips, it's one of our, um, <laughs> one of our biggest sellers. We've got our cool room out the back where we um, store our meat and seafood, um, raw vegetables, and then we've got another cool room in here where all our uh, mise en place is finished, um, ready for the sections. I'm lucky enough to have a next door neighbour who's a Lebanese lady, so I grew up with um, a Lebanese culture for 21 years, just learning all about that and the garden and the generosity family, yeah, the food, amazing food, yeah, so. That's um, come back on, especially in the last couple of years, I suppose, as you get older as a chef, you try and define your palate and where you, you're headed. Um, and there's been influences from French and Mediterranean along the way, but that's always been there and it's come back in quite a lot in the food um, I, I cook and enjoy now, yeah. So I think I was 14 and I was the youngest kid at the um, seafood school. I remember cutting my way to have a glass of wine as well. But yeah, learn all about seafood. I remember going and buying, um, on the way home, my parents waited for me in the car while I went and did the class and I went and bought Bonito after because we did the salt grill Bonito and I went home and I wanted to play it. As soon as I got home, grabbed it again, grabbed some Bonito at the fish markets and went home and like, wanted to recreate it, so. You take your ice bag to the, to the, if you're going to the fish market or something with you, or take some ice with you or ask for some ice. So you're obviously transporting it, keeping it cold. You know, that's the whole thing, you know, you, if you bought it from a good place, you can do something great to it when you get home, so that along the way something else happens to it, you know, the quality is going to, you know, going to diminish. But, yeah, so handle it properly, so keep it nice and cold. Top three, I'll probably have to say I'm a, I'm a big fan of squid. Uh, I just, I love its versatility, I love its texture, its flavour. Um, visually, it's, I think it's quite stunning as well. Kurong mullet at the moment, and beautiful, very, again, very versatile, raw, just grilled. The flavour, like this, the cleanest flavour, I got onto it a couple of years ago um, and been enjoying it. I'd probably say clams as well. Yeah, like the, um, again, only just in the last year I've started to appreciate clams maybe raw as well, and the flavour of that is, yeah, is amazing. Like over an oyster any day, yeah.